Hello and welcome to the special Christmas edition of Brit in Poland. So with today's video, I want to show you a bit about uh, what Christmas looks like in Warsaw, uh, talk a little bit about the traditions and muse on a few bits and pieces. So here we have Old Town and as you can see, Old Town is the main focus for Christmas. This here is the, the Christmas market. And one of the first things you see is this wonderful blacksmith. And there are all kinds of stands selling, well, quite a lot of mulled wine, as you'd expect, in all kinds of flavors. You have honey, you have white wine, you have red, you have chili. Um, and it's, uh, yeah, it, during this very cold time, uh, it's been averaging minus two, minus three lately, then it's definitely worth it. Uh, of course, uh, you have a number of Christmas ornaments um, on display here. And yeah, I couldn't help but pick up a, a, a gift or two um, while I was in this market. You'll find stands selling all kinds of, uh, kinds of sweets, uh, Polish snacks. Um, you'll find uh, some clothing, uh, particularly like mittens and slippers and, you know, all those little things you need to keep you warm. And, of course, like everywhere in Poland during Christmas time, you find that there is um, a lot of photo opportunities. This stand here selling these very, very sugary um, sweets of all your favorite characters. Now, I have to admit, I'm maybe not the biggest Christmas person out there, but when the weather is so cold, the nights are so dark, it's good to have a bit of color, a bit of light, and a bit of wonder come in. And certainly, they go all out in Warsaw, at least in certain areas. As I've said, you know, the old town is the area you will find is the most decorated. And every year, the things seem to change up a little bit. Uh, the old town square is, of course, the, uh, the main focus. And it's, yeah, again, lots of places to buy mulled wine and snacks. Uh, here is the ice rink. This is uh, another thing that uh, comes out every year. Uh, well, I'm not sure if it came out last year uh, when we had the heavy restrictions, but certainly you will find uh, lots of people on the ice. Me, I'm absolutely terrible. I go on the ice, I fall over. It's not worth seeing. At least, uh, yeah, I don't want to see that. And you'll find that Christmas, yeah, it's a beautiful time in Poland, what can I say? And I think really, we all need something like this at the moment. It's been a tough couple of years with uh, Corona. And I think we all need to kind of take our minds away and get back to a bit of normality. And yeah, it's fantastic. You'll find that a lot of the, uh, the cafes, a lot of the shops will go all out really and the displays are get, getting quite creative you know uh, they're not only very beautiful um, I can only imagine how long it takes to set all of this up but I think you'll find uh, that it's worth seeing so if you haven't been to Old Town uh, yet and you're living in Warsaw or visiting Warsaw then it's a definite must see and yes okay so if you've lived here for a while, you may see some repetitive themes, but, ah, well, you can kind of live with that. Uh, here's the, the Royal Castle, and they have this wonderful kind of projected light show, as well as the ginormous Christmas tree out the front. You have um, a number of, like, kind of characters appear, and... Um, I had to admit, I wish I could sort of say where they were from. I mean, you have your your classic nutcrackers and things like that, of course. But you have, you know, this chap <clears throat> with the carriage here. I'm not sure if he's someone from 
uh, sort of folk tales or just a nice little Christmassy looking decoration. And actually, you tend to see these in other parts of the city as well. Now, I haven't taken footage of it this year, uh, but if you want, you can check out my uh, Warsaw at Night video. It's one of the early videos I did, which uh, focuses a bit more in the parks and uh, Vilanov Palace uh, down in the south of Warsaw. And you will find that these are also pretty well lit up. You get quite a few like carousels um, and you can see like the, the kids are having fun, the parents are having fun. And really, you know, like, I mean, this part of the city, like uh, Old Town and Nova Sviat, it's busy. You know, you'll find all of the, the restaurants and all of the bars are quite active. And yeah, what can I say? <laughs> it's, um, it, it does kind of conjure this kind of magic sense. Now, this is one of my favorite pieces. We, we had this last year as well. And this is kind of like a... A giant chess set made of lights, which uh, I thought was very, very creative. And I, yeah, they, it's so impressive uh, the the level of detail uh, that goes into all of this. Now, this kind of tunnel of of lights just coming up now. Uh, again, it's a staple, um, so you you tend to have some kind of classical music playing here. Um, and also, of course, plenty of people taking selfies. Uh, it wouldn't be Christmas without selfies, after all. And you have a very similar tunnel in Velanov uh, as you're kind of entering the palace gardens. And again, it's just quite enchanting, I would say. Now, of course, uh, yeah, they also have uh, a lot of these kind of stands, which are ideal for selfies. I won't be sharing any of my selfies. Um, here you have the uh, Copernicus statue, um, surrounded by a horse and carriage. And yeah, it's worth a nice wonder, despite the freezing cold. I mean, of course, you know, we're living in a time when nothing really is certain. You know, I'm scheduled to uh, to go back to the uh, the UK next week. As a result, I have to take three different corona tests. One before I go, one when I'm back in the UK, and then one before I come back to Poland. And it's like, oh. Some, sometimes it just feels like they, they care more about you paying for the tests than what the tests actually say. But maybe I'm being cynical. But, well... Let's, let's see, everyone's going a bit crazy um, at the moment with the uh, restrictions still, especially with the new Omicron variant. But well, you know, hopefully everything will be fine <laughs> um, and I'll get back to my family okay. Uh, and yeah, because last year I was uh, trapped in Warsaw, which perhaps wasn't the ideal Christmas. But, you know, we uh, all make do. Now, as I say, like this time of year, you need to have something, a bit of a distraction. Um, and as I was saying, Poland does get very cold. Um, you know, we, we've even had quite a lot of snow uh, already this year. Normally, this is something that tends to pop up more in kind of uh, January, February time. But this year, we've had a good sprinkle and it's stayed so cold that uh, it's barely melted at all. But yeah, another photo op for, for many people there. But you can see, um, so this area is actually, you have this, uh, this big fountain uh, of lights, which is just a little bit off the old town. And during the summer, this is where you will find kind of laser shows and there's a, a wonderful kind of telling of the story of like the Warsaw mermaid, so the kind of origins of Warsaw. But at this time, of course, um, all the fountains will be shut off, most likely because they'd freeze. And who wants to really stand around in the cold looking at flowing water at this time? But still, they compensate for that by really going out full out with the light show here. And 
Yes, I have to admit it's it's quite breathtaking at times. You yeah, see a lovely view of Old Town in the uh, the background there. Now, Christmas actually in Poland it, it starts on December sixth. Uh, so this is uh, Saint Nicholas's Day or Mikolaiki, um, and with this tradition, uh, it's very s similar to a number of other countries uh, like uh, uh, the Netherlands, for example. And yeah, it's basically the, the Saint's Day, and traditionally it was actually the day you give presents. And speaking of presents, uh, we're just going to cycle through a few shopping centres, because, well, as much as the, uh, the government's putting out lots of lovely lights in the centre, the shopping centres, of course, go all out for Christmas as well, because what is Christmas if it's not a commercial holiday uh, in this day and age? And... Yeah, essentially, you're, yeah, sorry, I'm just captivated by, uh, by the lights here. <laughs> but yeah, there are a lot of traditions associated with Christmas. Um, maybe they're not all observed uh, these days, but, you know, of course, they, uh, they have, uh, you know, respect for Advent. They're always decorating Christmas trees, much as, uh, you know, uh, we have in the UK. Um, but what is different is Christmas Eve is actually like a day of fasting. So you find that they tend not to have meat or even vodka, I believe. Uh, strange but true. But they will have a lot of kind of fish dishes uh, and wine. Um, of course, the uh, traditions vary uh, very much by region. So unfortunately, I've only really spent Christmas uh, in Warsaw. So I haven't had the chance to kind of experience it in other areas of Poland, but uh, I'm told that there are kind of a raft of traditions um, which, yeah, are quite local. So, really, Warsaw is a wonderful place. I mean, um, in fairness, like I've, uh, you know, from what I've heard, uh, if you really want to see kind of like the impressive uh, Christmas markets, then maybe places like Krakow, or, um, oh god, I'm trying to think of the, Wroclaw, uh, have uh, some pretty strong traditions as well, and massive Christmas markets, so maybe next year um, I'll try and do a bit of travelling at this time of year, but I have to admit, travelling at this time of year is a bit tricky, <laughs> given the cold, and you don't really want to be wandering around. Uh, when I was out and about taking a lot of these, I was quite thankful for... Um, uh, the hot wine that was on sale because you need something to keep your hands warm. But yes, uh, coming to a close on the video, uh, just a little thank you for watching. I hope you've uh, enjoyed the sights of Warsaw. It really is quite spectacular. And, you know, if you've liked this video, please give it a like. Um, and if you're interested in seeing more videos about Poland uh, or what it's like to live in Poland, uh, then feel free to subscribe. And honestly, I wish you a very Merry Christmas, whatever you're doing this year. I hope uh, you're able to spend time with family and loved ones, and I hope the restrictions aren't putting too much of a dampener on things. Me, I'm going to be staying tuned to the news just in case the UK government decides to do something else a bit crazy. Uh, already they're costing me a small fortune. Uh, with, with corona tests, but ah, well, we'll see how we are. But Merry Christmas all, I hope you've uh, enjoyed, and I will see you again in the new year, most likely, unless I think of some other random video to do in the meantime. But, dozer